Welcome back. Uh, Supreme Industries just reported their Q4 numbers uh, some time ago. Revenues jumped more than 15%, while margin contracted marginally on a year-on-year -year basis. We have MP Taparia, the managing director of the company, joining us to discuss the results further. Uh, first up, sir, first of all, uh, thank you so much for joining us here. Mr. Taparia, give us a sense of what was the volume growth uh, that you saw in Q4 and how did it pan out for FI24? At the start of, a, of the year, you had given a guidance for 15% growth. So where have you ended the year with? Now, the volume growth in the last quarter was 32%. And for the current year, we are giving a forecast of volume growth of 20%. Okay. So, FY25, volume growth will be 25% uh, for the company. Uh, Mr. Tapari, I wanted to understand uh, what the pricing scenario is looking like right now. The last conversation we had, you had indicated they are stable right now, but we did see a lot of geopolitical issues, the Red Sea crisis in quarter four. Has that impacted PVC pricing? But let me say about the volume growth of this next this year. We anticipate a volume growth of 20% for the overall company and 25% volume growth for plastic piping division. On the plastic ramble price, we believe the price are now going to remain affordable in the range bound. We do not see a great possibility of any great upside in PVC prices also going forward. Okay. Okay, so you're not seeing too much upside as far as PVC pricing is going forward. At the end of Q3, you had mentioned that uh, PVC pricing is seeing a bit of a bottoming out and you expected it to go higher from there. So the current demand scenario is indicating that no, not much further upside for pricing. And secondly, uh, you reported 35% volume growth for FY24. FY25, you're giving us a guidance of close to 20%. Uh, is the toned down guidance largely on account of the higher base or are you seeing some demand headwinds? No, demand, there's a tailwind only. There's no headwind. Okay. okay. Government is spending money on infrastructure. Government is going to spend money now to supply gas by pipeline. The nurse agile scheme is still continued in some state. So we do not see any setback in the demand. But because of higher base now, Instead of 33% of last year, we are anticipating 25% volume growth in PVC. Hmm. And overall, company also had a growth of 26% last year. This year, we are aiming at 20% volume growth, which is going to be double the GDP of the country. So we remain quite optimistic with the growth potential. Now the rainfall forecast is also very favorable. So inflation will be contained. Raw material price is going to remain affordable with huge capacity being built in India and surrounding countries. So we see the growth impetus will continue and companies making large investment in brownfield plant and also a new location at Kanpur Dehat and companies aiming now to put three new locations that is at Patna, Vijayawada and close to Jainpiti for plastic piping system and particularly packaging product. Okay, all right, sir. We get that. So you're looking at CapEx. You're saying the demand is quite robust. So volume-wise, there won't be an issue. And the 25% or 20% guidance is over 35% or 33%. So that is on a high base. Um, I wanted to understand about the CapEx that you had already announced. One is Parvati Agro's unit, which was to run at full capacity in February 2024. Has that happened? And also the valves plant at Malan Malanpur. It was expected to commission by quarter one of FY25. Is that also on track? Uh, what the my Malapur plant will go into production in quarter one for sure. And the Sangli unit, uh, the current capacity is now running properly. We are expanding capacity there by 20,000 ton further in this year at Sangli. Okay. So, so what is the current capacity utilization over there? Current capacity is fully sold out. We are expanding further. Okay, so what is the kind of incremental revenue you can garner from that particular plant? Uh, you're talking about Malanpur, right? And uh, you, uh, my colleague also asked you about Parvati Agro Unit. Has it started, uh, you know, uh, operating at full capacity from February itself? Uh, uh, Parvati Agro is now running full capacity. We have a capacity of around 3,000 ton per month, which is around okay. 3,000 ton, you can count, it is around 30, 30 crore per, per month. 
Okay. All right. So full capacity utilization at Parvati Agro and the Malanpur plant will start getting commission from quarter one. You have announced that there is capex at Vijayawada, at Patna, and other locations as well. Are you going to be using your cash surplus of one thousand one seventy eight crore rupees to fund that? What is the plan here, and what kind of capex can you guide for in FY twenty five? So capex, we are our planning is to spend thousand five hundred crore. We are going to commit. And out of thousand five hundred crore, may may not be required to pay everything in this year, but maybe around thousand crore rupees, and it will be all done through our own fund, which we are having today, around twelve hundred crore in the company account. So everything will be done by internal accrual. Okay. Okay, sir. So give us a sense of how CPVC prices shaped up in Q4. Uh, the outlook for FY25 as well. We believe, you know, at the end of Q3, what you had mentioned is that there was a price decline of 10% on a year-on-year -year basis due to excessive supply. So, has the situation resolved and got better over there? So demand was good, and the PVC price went up a small way by one and a half rupee a kilo from first uh, from the beginning of June. But there is a very beginning of March, but there is a very marginal increase in the PVC prices. Okay. Um, I also wanted to understand what will the margin outlook be in FY twenty four uh, twenty five. In FY twenty four, you had indicated it could be fifteen and a half percent. You have done margins of around sixteen point two percent, so you have surpassed that particular guidance as well. Will that be the case in FY twenty five as well? FY twenty five, as on today, we like to forecast fifteen point five percent. Okay, so why is that? Uh, why is it lower than FY twenty four? Only you are telling quarter to quarter, but the second quarter comes in the week quarter. Uh, mm -hmm. July, September, the week quarter in the company, which is the month and period. So okay. we are telling twelve point fifteen point five percent for the full year. So could you just reiterate, uh, you know, for the benefit uh, of our viewers, FY twenty five, you've mentioned volume growth of close to twenty to twenty five percent. You've mentioned a margin guidance. Can you give us revenue margin? Bottom line, as well as volume guidance, once more. I can say uh, we anticipate a turnover between twelve thousand to twelve thousand five hundred crore. Volume mm -hmm. growth is around twenty percent. We may be close to seven hundred fifty thousand ton sale in the current year. Okay, all right. So you did total revenues of around ten thousand one ninety nine crore rupees in FY twenty four. You expected to go to levels of twelve thousand to twelve thousand five hundred crore rupees with margins of fifteen and a half percent. Mr. Tapadia, always a pleasure speaking with you, sir. Thank you so much for joining us today and patiently answering all those questions. That's the word coming in from Supreme Industries, where they say demand is robust. They will do volume growth of twenty percent, but PVC pricing is something that will be a key monitorable the stock at the day's low right now. We'll slip into a short break. Here's a programming note for our viewers. Our Friday special offering editors roundtable is now coming at a new time. Catch the biggest market headlines of the week with expert analysis from market veterans and our editors every Friday now at 3:30 p.m. Don't forget to tune in.